Hey guys, I just want to make a quick addendum to my last video where we rotated a cube with a joystick. A fellow YouTuber found out that that only works for that specific case. Uh, so today I want to show you how we can make our system more robust so that it'll work for more cases than just that. So thank you for finding that issue. Uh, all right, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to make this, you know, just so we're starting with a different use case. I'm going to make this work with a sprite instead of a uh, 3D mesh. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start by removing the mesh components and then adding in a sprite renderer component. And on here I'll just add in whatever sprite I have. That's all we need to do for this portion. Alright, so if I hit play now without changing any of the scripting that we did from last video, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, you can see that in the 3D view we get this kind of weird sideways rotation as well as it flipping um, on the x-axis. Uh, that is not what we want. Um, and that is due to this look at uh, function. It, uh, it's a useful function, but it doesn't give us as much uh, control over the rotation as we need for this particular case. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove that for now. Um, and instead of using the look at function, we're going to use something else uh, called the, well, hang on. First off, transform.rotation is going to equal the quaternion dot look rotation. This is the function that we want to use. This one gives us a little more control uh, by letting us specify a forward and an upward uh, vector that we want to look at. Uh, so first off, uh, let's go ahead and give it the look vec for our forward vector. And I happen to know that we need to have vector 3 dot back as our uh, up vector. Uh, this might be different for you depending on your setup, uh, but for us this is what we need. Um, and one more thing, well actually I'll, I'll show you what this looks like first. So right now it's a vector 2, our forward vector is a vector 2, um, which uh, which only has an x and a y component, it has no z component, so uh, we're not trying to look at a point off in z, which is why we're looking off in, like, off to the side. So to fix that is real simple, we're just going to need to turn our look vector into a vector 3 with a z component, so it'll look, look off in the z axis. Um, and I'm going to make it a really large number, uh, just to make sure that we're looking down that axis. Um, and if I go back to Unity, hit play, and uh, now you can see that it is pointing in the direction that we want it to. Um, one issue here though you'll be able to see is if I let go of the joystick it'll snap back to the upright position um, and that is because our uh, X and Y components of the joystick turn back into zeros so uh, we have a zero zero and then a look off in Z that's why we're getting what we're getting uh, so anyway one way that we can combat this is to say uh, if our look vectors X and Y are zero then do not uh, do not rotate it. So I can do that real quick with if lookfec.x uh, does not equal zero and lookfec.y does not equal zero, whoops, then rotate. Else if it if one if those are both zero, then we're not gonna do any rotation. So uh, here we go. And if I let go. He stays pointed where he was. Uh, and I can move him, rotate him, and it all works exactly as we'd expect. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Uh, thank you so much again for watching, and I am sorry that I did not do uh, enough testing before publishing the initial video. But anyway, here's the fix. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you next time.